Hello everyone, I am Shraddha Burkunde. I am a science communicator at ISA Pune. This video is conceptualized and developed by Science Activity Center and is created for and supported by Pratham Education Foundation. This is a series of 16 videos which would be premiered every Wednesday at 7 pm on this channel. Subscribe to this channel and let us know in the comment section if you like this video. Observe these movements carefully. Can you guess the joint which helps you do these movements? It is the ball and socket joint. A ball and socket joint is as simple as it is named. A ball that fits in a socket. This joint is present in the shoulders and hips. Here is how to make a model of ball and socket joint. You will need a flexible ball, a rigid ball, plastic or PVC pipe, markers, glue, cutter and scissors. Cut the plastic or PVC pipe into half. Mark a circle on the plastic ball to cut a hole just enough to fit the rubber ball. Glue the pipe to the rigid ball opposite to the hole and our socket is now ready. Similarly, for the flexible ball, mark a circle on the ball to make a hole just enough to fit the pipe. Fit this assembly into the socket of the rigid ball. Here you have a ball and socket joint model. Simple, isn't it? What are the different movements possible with this joint? Abduct, that is to raise the arm or leg sideways. Adduct, that is to bring it back. Flex, that is to raise the arm or leg in front. Extend, that is to push it back. And rotation. The socket in hips is deeper compared to shoulders, which reduces the freedom of the motion. As the ball and socket joint of the shoulder is more flexible, you can take your hand all the way up, but not your leg. Challenge time. There are many applications derived from this joint. Look around and find other such examples of ball and socket joint. Make this model on your own and send us the video. You can also watch the videos under skeletal system for more details.